Hi, I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys a delicious fall holiday dessert, pumpkin mousse cheesecakes. I've adapted this recipe over the years from a whole cheesecake to little minis. I think they serve much better. And this is what we're going to do is we have a small food processor here. We've got some uh, ginger snap crumbs. We've got some um, pecans that are going to go in here, about six or so tablespoons. I have cut the recipe in half for um, filming purposes, but a few pecans in there and a couple of tablespoons of uh, brown sugar. All right, we're going to come back now and add the melted butter. When I adapted the recipe to minis, I actually use a muffin tin and cupcake liners. These are great little miniature servings. We put about a tablespoon of crust in each cup. Now this is called a tart stamper. I realize not everybody has one. You can certainly use the back of a spoon. No reason not to. But after you've gotten your cups completely filled, you want to come back and push your crust down on the bottom there. And then your cups need to go, this whole pan needs to go into the refrigerator for about a half an hour while you make your filling. I've got about three quarters of a pound of cream cheese in my mixer here. I'm then going to come back and add the goat cheese. We're going to start the mixer. And while that is blending and getting nice and smooth, we're going to add our dry ingredients and our spices. And what I've got here is I've got some white sugar and some brown sugar. We've got spices of ginger and cornstarch and um, some cinnamon in there, I believe. I'm going to add that together. The great thing about this recipe is fresh nutmeg. I absolutely love using fresh nutmeg. You know, they're small bulbs. You can buy these in specialty spice stores, but I think they have them in the grocery stores as well. Um, this is a nutmeg grater, but you can certainly use a regular microplane grater. And we're just going to hold it over top. And we're just going to grate quite a bit in there. I actually did leave the cream cheese and the goat cheese out at room temperature. It softens a little bit quicker and then it also um, it makes it easier for blending purposes in your mixer. So now I'm going to come back and I'm going to add those spices and sugars to the mixer. And then I'm going to add some pumpkin. Canned pumpkin is totally fine for this. If you want to take the time to cook a pumpkin down, that's totally fine as well. You just want to make sure you get out the seeds. All right, another nice ingredient here that we're going to add is a tablespoon of dark rum. You can also use bourbon if you choose, not a, no, no reason not to. Whatever you have handy in your bar. And we want about a half a teaspoon or so of vanilla extract. And then we want to add eggs. Try to add them. I did crack two into a bowl, but try to add them to your mix one at a time. It helps blend better. We'll turn the speed up just a little. See that that blended. Add the second egg. All right, we're going to take our beater blade off and our bowl out. Scrape your beater blade with anything left over on that. All right. Scrape down the sides. Make sure you get it nice and combined. And then as soon as our crust for the uh, cheesecakes are chilled, we're going to fill them and we're going to bake them. I've got the muffin tin actually sitting in a jelly roll pan, and you'll see why in a couple of moments. And we're going to take our filling basically at um, about a portion or so. This should have blended up a little bit more, but it's going to be just fine. It, it makes anywhere from 11 to 12 of a mini cup. As you can see, I've got 11 here. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it in a, um, I think it's a 325 degree oven, if I'm not mistaken. And you're going to come and you're going to actually add hot water to your jelly roll pan. And we go mostly almost all the way to the top of that. 
and we go into the oven for 55 minutes where it bakes of course and then we take it out and we need to let it chill for about three hours at that point before you serve it. I love pulling these out. One of the main reasons I love doing them in this way is because of the fact I've got less of a mess and everything. So I've got my paper liner, I've got my plate here. I'm going to unmold the cheesecake. Perfect little serving of proportion of ratio of, of crust to cheesecake there. Put it in the middle of a serving plate. And then um, I love to drizzle this with caramel sauce, um, either homemade or you can buy the, the uh, grocery store, which is totally fine. And I love to just come back twice with this. Well, if it will cooperate. And then a nice little lattice pattern there. And there you have it. Pumpkin mousse cheesecake with a caramel drizzle. I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from the Green Kitchen. Join us next time on Heart of the Home. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafb.com slash recipes, as well as on Chef Tammy Brawley's website at greenkitchenrichmond.com.